Hey there YouTube, uh, figured I'd do a little uh, KLR walk around as if there's not enough KLR 650 videos online. Um, but anyway, yeah, figured I'd add mine to the list. Um, starting up at the front, first off we got 2014 KLR 650 new edition. Um, and then up here at the front we've got the Baja Works um, tinted screen. I'm 5 foot 8. And uh, it's perfect. I can uh, I can rise up in the saddle probably three inches before I really feel any kind of wind off the visor of my helmet. So uh, if you're around that height, that'll work pretty good. You do have to cut right here on both sides, um, unless you want this kind of this Batman wing sticking off there. Um, but other than that, it's just bolt-on install. Um, Still running the stock front tread for now. Um, that'll be changing soon. I've got 4,345 miles on the clock. Um, we've got the uh, eBay 12 volt with the 5 volt USB, dual USBs. Um, that was real easy to install. Just pull the number plates, the seat, the tank, and the tank fairing bodywork. And um, it goes right on hide the wires beneath the gas tank um, very easy to do in case you've been putting off some kind of electrical for not wanting to take the tank off and don't don't bother putting it off it's really easy um, and as far as uh, my phone this is a Schwinn bicycle phone holder from Walmart it was like six bucks um, works very well comes with some little foam corner pieces so if your phone is skinnier or wider um, it'll fit without sliding back and forth and then I've got this little rubber piece down the center um, so that my phone can't move in the case this way and then the straps on the side are adjustable for tension you just pull it up put your phone in and then it holds it um, yeah it's probably not as nice as a ram mount but it also didn't cost forty dollars so take that for what it's worth and if I ever crash or wreck and it breaks um, I can just go to any local Walmart and buy another one um, moving on back from there we've got a 16 tooth front sprocket which I'm not going to bother to show you no sense in it um, and then coming on to the back we've got the Lex MXE slip on and mid pipe the only issue I had when installing this was the spring that Lex sends. Um, I don't know if you can see it. The top one, I shattered it. The distance on the top one is uh, at least a half inch longer than it is on this bottom one. And when trying to stretch it out, uh, these Lex ones they send you are three piece. There's the cool in the middle. And then the two hooks, the cool is just wrapped around it. And they're kind of folded back so they can't come out. Well, if you pull on them hard enough, they come out, I promise you. Um, so anyway, I just uh, got a generic spring from the hardware store. And uh, it's working fine. I'm running the uh, 40, 40 millimeter tip um, with no spark arrestor, no screen or anything uh live in alabama so there's no real restrictions on having to have that maybe if i was at an off-road park but as far as just riding on the road it it doesn't really matter to my knowledge and the, the 46 race tip that comes with it was way too loud at about 70 on the road it's just obnoxious and uh the 40 millimeter quieting it down just enough but still loud enough that everyone can hear you and that you can hear it and, and it sounds really good um, I did not do any carb work when I added that um, I didn't feel the need to because it still runs perfect and uh, any kind of riding I do in a different elevation I'm gonna be going from my current elevation of five to six hundred feet up to five thousand feet in Tennessee and North Carolina mountains so um, if anything, it's just going to get richer as I go higher up and there's less air. 
because uh, everyone knows they're lean from the factory, but no 22 cent mod or any of that that junk, just running it stock. And then uh, I've already got a video online of my uh, little homemade top case bag here. Um, if you want to watch that, I may include the link or you can go find it because I've only got like three or four videos on YouTube anyway. Um, and then as far as rear rubber, we're running a Kenda and I forget the exact model. Um, and it doesn't say, it says 65H on it down here, but I know that's not it. They're uh, like Kenda 7 somethings. K, I forget. Um, but uh, I like it really well. I've had it for um, uh, at least a thousand miles now, roughly. Just, just shy of a thousand miles. Um, I plan to put the same tire on the front as well. Um, whenever it wears out, which will be here soon, another couple hundred miles, I'll be thinking about ordering a front. Um, and that's about everything I've done to it. Um, the only other thing that I'm wanting to do to it is I do want to get a Pelican case um, for a top bag for when me and my wife go camping. And uh, I want to take, I found some one and a half inch cleats like you would see on a boat dock for you to tie your boat to. I found some that are aluminum and they're an inch and a half long. And I would put four of them, one in each corner of the lid of that Pelican case. And then our tent can set on top of the Pelican case and we can strap it down to the top of the Pelican case while having stuff in the Pelican case. And then um, I intend to get the factory KLR uh, saddlebags. Um, and then uh, that would be all the room we would need uh, for just the two of us to go camping, I believe. Um, at least for one night or maybe two nights. Um, so yeah, there it is.